to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do another haul video. It's going to be a haul video for this month, June. I'm going to show you some things that I bought, some things that YouTube made me buy, some other things that I saw on website and some things that I was very curious about. Before we start I want to apologize. I kind of look a little bit messy. My hair is all over the place and my makeup I had it on for the whole day. I've been out and spending a lot of time with family and uh, I just wanted to do this video before I take my makeup off. I will stop talking about other things and just start with the products. Now the thing that I really really like is this Cora FX um, costume drops. Now I have in shade Moonlight, Sunkissed and Blossom. These three I do use almost every day. The one that I use most is this Sunkist as my bronzer. That's what I have on today, but I, I had this makeup for at least 10-11 hours or so. I will of course put the link down below with the old videos if you're interested to see more about them, the swatches and how I apply them on my face. You can click the link down below. Now the next product is this Lancome La Base um, waterproof eyeshadow base and this whole, I also did a first impression video and review and I really really love this but I don't love it alone as much as I love it with another product and that's, let me see, here we have it. I use this Smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer and this is one of my favorite primers. I have really really oily eyelids and it's almost impossible for me to have eyeshadow on for at least 10-11 hours which is something that I really look for. I put this first off to maybe 2 minutes when I let this dry on my eyelids. I take this La Base um, Longwear Eyeshadow Base from Lancome and then I set it with a powder and voila! That's what I have like base today, like my base primer, what should I call it? And my eyeshadow held for at least, well, at least 10 hours. No, 11 hours. It's 11 hours. So I really like to use both of them. Something also I have already seen on my channel is the first impression of this um, coverage foundation, full coverage foundation from The Ordinary. And I did use it couple of times I will put link down below if you want to see that video too and I do like it it's not my favorite it's not something that I definitely say oh I need that but I uh, do use it and I do like it I think we should continue with the foundation now another foundation that I also bought this month and that I really really like and if you follow me and watch my videos you I've already seen this. It's my favorite Lava Art Compact Cushion Foundation. And this is made in Korea. I love this foundation. This is my go-to foundation. This is what I take every day, almost every day. And I can say, today I had to force myself to use another foundation, but I kind of felt guilty because I really like this. More product that you already seen on my channel, if you follow me of course, it's this The Ordinary Silicone Primer. I do like this primer, I used it two, two days now, two or three days. Right now I do like it, I don't know how it will hold on if I continue using it and how my skin will rea react because sometimes I do break out with silicone primers, but this one so far looks good. Second eyeshadow primer or eyeshadow primer that I tried this month is this pure crease crease eyeshadow primer that I really really don't like. I don't know if you can see the packaging. I will put link down below. I think I have a video with this one too. First impression. Next thing. Now I didn't talk about them so much on my channel. This about this product, but I know I showed you in some of my videos and I'm talking about this Ma Milani ba Baked Bronzers I have in 09 Dolce and I have in 4 Glow and they come with a brush that I don't really use and this is the 4 Glow 
I love. Love, 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 love. Uh, this bronzer. Today I used a little bit of Dolce over my drops. I don't know if you can see it. But they are very nice, very easy to build up and I love them. And this is something that YouTube made me buy. This is kind of a weird sponge. I think you probably saw this on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook. I got this for a couple of months ago actually, but I, I didn't try it and I want to do a first impression video with this. I don't know, is this a sponge or kind of foundation applicator? I don't know what I should call it. Now, I saw kind of mixed reviews with uh, this product. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm kind of curious to see how I will feel about this product. So I'm definitely going to do a first impression. Okay, let's move on because I still have a couple of products left and I kind of feel that this video is going to be long and I don't want that to be. Now, I did order a couple of things on, not a couple of things, two things on BH Cosmetics website and I bought this highlight pal palette, black light highlight palette comes with a nice mirror and these beautiful colors just look, I don't know if you can see but they're beautiful I don't own any highlighters that looks like this these colors are not something that I would wear maybe every day but I think they are very fun to use sometimes and uh, I really wanted to have something like this in my collection of course I really love this palette. I also got this one Spotlight Highlight Palette. They are also very nice highlighters. I did film a video with first impression with these palettes and I did try them on my face so I'm definitely going to put that video soon. Oh, I almost lost everything that's on my knee today. Sorry, I'm kind of a bit tired. Let's continue. Um, Yes, I did a first impression video with this. Now, it's still not on my channel, so if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, so you don't miss that. But I did a video with this, using them on my face and swatching them, so it's going to come up on my channel soon. Right now, I do really like both of the palettes. I said in my first impression video, I don't really know which one I will recommend. I think the both of them are beautiful. It depends what you are looking for. Do you look for more fun colors to use? I recommend this. If it's something that you want to use every day, I then recommend this. But if you are a palette collector like I am, put them. They are not expensive, so like them, love them. And when I ordered those, I got kind of a couple of things uh, for free. I got some travel eyeshadow brushes, but I don't know really where they are. And I also got this blush to go for color blush palette from BH Cosmetics. And I really like them. Really, really like them. I used them a couple of times and I have nothing bad to say about them. The beautiful colors. Really. So let's. I don't know if you can see this one. They are really easy to blend. I know this one is a little bit too dark for my skin tone, but. I used it once as an eyeshadow and I do like it, but they are very easy to blend, I don't know if you can see it. No? Very easy to blend. Now I have color everywhere. Wait. And one more thing that I got for free from BH Cosmetics when I ordered the, uh, the highlight palettes is this 6th six, edition first trade to go 6 color eyeshadow palette. That was a long name. <laughs> I didn't try these on my eyes, but they look beautiful. Kind of. I really don't like th these brushes, but kind of fun shadows to use. They are not that matte. They're kind of like um, how should I should call it satin feeling to them. Or look. 
but they're nice. I also bought this L'Oreal La, uh, La Manicure Extreme Hardener for the nails. My na nails are very soft and, and I break them very easy, so I wanted to try this product. But please explain the packaging. Can you see why? Why? I kind of expected a little bit bigger package or bottle than I got than this but it's okay I did try it maybe two or three times I can't really say if it works I think I use something similar to this from Sally Hansen I think it's the brand it's called and I did like that but I really couldn't find it right now anywhere to buy so I decided to try this <laughs> and if you can hear my voice is kind of strained because I'm th I think I'm getting a cold Fe have that feeling and then I got the present from my lovely sister and it's this beautiful palette from OB V O P V O P I V or B V I don't know how you should call it uh, and I love 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 it's what I have on today in the center of my eyelids look how beautiful this palette is I wear this color into cent in the center of my eyelid and a little bit of this darker here of course I used a couple of other eyeshadows in my crease uh, because this is all shimmer it's pig uh, pigments metallic and shimmer palette so here you won't find any matte eyeshadow so that's why I used another palette but oh my god I love this palette I really really love this palette I had also did a video and a makeup look using this palette palette and that will also come uh, on my channel soon so if you haven't subscribed please do that everybody says that the packaging is similar to the Morphe palette but I don't own any of the Morphe palettes and I really don't know why. I know my sister does own a couple of the Morphe palettes, but I don't. I don't know really why. Say, I think eyeshadows look beautiful and I do like to collect eyeshadow palettes, but for some reason, I just really didn't buy any of the Morphe palettes. Maybe I will in the future. A palette that I just fell in love with and I had to have it. Woo! Violet Voss Ride or Die palette. Now, I bought this a couple of weeks ago, in the beginning of the June, and I didn't touch it. No, I didn't touch it. I want to touch it and use it every day, but I just wanted to do this video and a first impression video using this palette. I'm planning to do a video doing three looks with this palette. Look, it's a big mirror and a huge palette. I don't know if you can see all the sh colors. It's mixed of mattes, metallics, pearls and satin eyeshadows and I didn't touch any of them. And I'm definitely not going to do that in this video because I really wanted to to do a special video only for this palette because I think this palette looks so beautiful. I love the mirror. I kind of think it's nice and big and of course I can hold it like this and use this palette. I don't see any problem with that. Some people think it's kind of heavy and too big. It is a little bit heavy and it is big but that, that is what I like about this palette right now. I think maybe it's not the best palette to travel with but it's going definitely to be a palette that I'm going to travel with because when I travel I take a lot of makeup with me. Something that I wanted to buy for a long time and I always go in on websites and say today I'm going to order it and then I never do. I don't know why. And that's this professional makeup palette. It's a palette where you can put the foundation and mix two shades or three shades together. And I ordered this from uh, Wish 
actually and it comes with a spatula it's really nice bag also really soft and it's something I definitely need and I never order it so I said to myself that you really need this one you have to order it and I got on wish and did that and kind of took three weeks for it to arrive but I do like it and definitely need this Okay, the next product is waterproof, Perfect Contour Kyal Waterproof Pen and this is from um, the brand called Isadora, we, we pronounce it Isadora in, in Swedish. These are waterproof and I all, use them almost every day on, the, my, on my waterline and they are con, kind of not very pigmented and I would like them too so you have to work with it a little bit to put and build it up but I do like them they do stay quite long on my eyes but not as long as I would like them too this is number 38 aquatic shade and I also have this blue one it's blue bliss number 37 I will zoom in later. They are very nice, very soft, easy to build up. Now, uh, this purple kind of doesn't stay as long as the others on my eyes. And this beautiful. Let me just swatch them for you. I bought all the shades. Now they don't have the black one, or I couldn't find the black one, that's weird, they have grey. Oh, this one is my favorite, this one. And this is in 41 Mint. The one that I used a lot is this one Tropical Green, and this one Tropical Blue. Tropical Blue is, um, is one that I use the most, and the Tropical Green. They are kind of a little bit shimmery. I really love these three. And the last thing I want to show you are the lipsticks that I bought from Makeup Revolution. Uh, they are called Amazing Lipsticks. Uh, they are very nice. I bought, I think I bought 20 or 21. I lost one. I don't know where it is. I had it in my purse and when I was looking for it I couldn't find it so I had to look for it because I want to do a swatch video with these lipsticks today I think I have this shade Beloved and they are very nice and very soft some of them are more pigmented than the others but they are very soft kind of like a balm very moisturizing on the lips I do like them I have a lot of the colors I have purples and pinks and reds, and more pur pur really, really deep red. I have two plumbery colors, Rebel with cost, and this is Re Reckless, also very dark red. I have orange and almost like a black one. Yeah, I have a lot of shades. A lot of them. I don't know if you can see them. But I want to do a swatch video. I want to, I want to show you every shade, every color, so you can really see how they look on my lips and how they apply. This is one glit with a glitter with glitter in it. Pink, very nice, soft. Let me just swatch maybe one or two. Uh, this one is Atomic Ruby. Very nice and red. If you see, it's very dark. But they don't apply as dark as they look. Some of them, of course. But they are still beautiful. This one is the one that I use the most. This one, Encur. Encur. It's like a shimmer pink, soft. Very nice for the summer. This one is the one. And I, I think I have a color similar to this one that I lost. It's kind of like a beige color. 
This fancy is beautiful. I have to look for it. So I'm definitely going to, to do a swatch video with these so you can see all the shades that I have. Well, that was everything that I had for you today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me. And I hope I see you in my next video. Bye.